alas, it is the final day of the Athens series. Uh, this was the morning before I flew and I kind of wanted to get down to the Central Market because I'd been in and through but I didn't actually film. So Central Market has three sections. It's got some fruits and vegetables sort of around the outside of the market where there's a lot of nuts and olives being sold as well. And then there's two sections inside. So as you walk down here, there's a few little places selling seafood and a couple of stalls where you can actually sit and eat. Uh, I didn't stop here because the oysters, I think they were charging about nine euros per oyster. So they were very expensive. Um, but further into the market, it becomes a butcher site. Loads of different butchers selling lots of lamb, lots of cuts of lamb that you wouldn't see. This young lad here was a right character. I'd met him a couple days before and uh, he remembered me. So he grabbed the camera and um, started oh, filming. Give so us. Uh, everyone here is super friendly. A lot this of them will interact. Watching? There's the odd person that doesn't want ah. them being filmed. But obviously, as you can see, this guy wants to just take hey. over the channel. And um, of course, there I am in the background, quite happy for someone else to be filming. And yeah, it was just, it was really cool interaction with the guys. Um, some of them didn't quite know what was going on. Others uh, obviously knew and uh, were, were enjoying it. And yeah, it was just nice to kind of have a chat to some of them, have a laugh and uh, yeah, just see how people react to the camera. And obviously it's a good little camera that I use. It is the DJI Pocket 2, um, a, little, uh, a little gimbal camera that films in 4K. My friend, how many euro? This? Uh, 400 euro, 350 pounds. Yeah, it's really good. Only this small, but don't have No, I only need small. It films in um, films in 4K. It's good. good. My YouTube. Ah. I film uh, markets and food around the world. <laughs> And as you can see there, you know me, I love to just hand out a sticker. <laughs> so yeah, I gave him a few stickers to the website. So as you can see, there's a lot of lamb here. The lamb is a lot younger, or a lot of the lamb is younger than you would get in the UK, so the legs are a lot smaller. And it's also a lot fresher, so where we in the UK would hang meats for a few days, um, especially beef, here it tends to be a lot pressure sort of killed a couple of days before maybe a day before and then put straight to market so there isn't that age of meat it's a lot lighter in taste and just every single one of them they're all selling pretty much the same product and you know you walk down you get the vibes of the market everyone's shouting trying to get you to come on board and come and buy this and come and buy that and it's lively and this is where a lot of the locals come and get their meat because it is very well priced on the inside I do think the outer areas sort of cater a bit more for the tourists coming in and do charge a higher price to try and, I'm not going to say rip people off, but obviously to try and make that little bit more money from the tourists. So if you are in an Airbnb or you're self catering and you do fancy cooking something up, do come into the market and do come all the way in. As we cut across here now through the middle, we come to the fish section. So this is jam packed with some of the best seafood that the Mediterranean and the Aegean seas have to offer they have an abundance of good seafood especially the calamaris um, the prawns they have a lot of like stone bass as well the anchovies are amazing and again very rowdy very lively I would recommend wearing a shorter trouser sorry for the flickering here it's just the uh, the frame rate with the lights are just having a bit of an effect you can see me testing the camera here to see what it is uh, and I am not clever enough yet to change the frame rate in the video editing so I'm afraid you're just gonna have to put up with it um, but yeah I mean it is a phenomenally good market it really is I use the word phenomenal a lot I do appreciate that and I do know I do it um, but yeah that I'll have to think of new ways of using descriptive words so as you walk up and down these areas in between just here and on other sections as you cross from the wet market to the, the the meat market the fish market to the meat market you will find little bars little ouzo bars and as i've walked through there's a couple more tavernas here at the edge of the market and all of these mar um, market tavernas they do use the fresh produce from the fish market so it's worth a visit so i don't know how well you'll be able to hear me but just in the corner of the fish market in the central market there's a little bar that does 
Uzo, one of the Uzo, you get a little plate of grilled food. So on here you have like some bread, some halloumi, some chili peppers, some olives, uh, some sausage, some bifteki, or Uzo and some water. Not bad for 11 o'clock in the morning. little pickled chilies. Very briny, a little spicy. The ouzo is really good as well. Like, I love it. Super herby, super juicy, very, very well seasoned. Like, who can't love a spot like this? I'm sat right next to a raw fish on my left, the meat on my right. And I'm finding a little hole in the wall place, a little counter. And like I said, it's 11 in the morning and it is packed. Everyone having their little Hugo Meze lunch. Delicious stuff. So right on the corner of the, of the central market is a place called Volvi Suglaki and they sell pork or beef souvlaki. Now they're only like 120 I think each or two for two euro and ten souvlaki for six euro I think which is an absolute steal. They can have them wrapped in pita for a bit more because I'm going to try and eat a lot today and I'm flying home later. I went for just two without any of the bread. Come on man. Every soup lucky I have seems to get tastier and tastier. So again, that open coal, that smoky char flavor, but then the salt, the oregano, the oil, just really finishes it off. Again, it's super tender, really fatty. There's all kinds of delicious. So the size of these are a little smaller. They remind me more of the little street souvlakis you would get at a festival, like a panagiri they're called. But I mean, for a euro, I mean, look at it. For a euro snack walking along the way, when you're sort of leaving the market and heading towards the main touristy areas, this will fill you up on the well along the way. So, I'll try biting the stick then. I'm gonna eat this and carry on down and see what we can get. So last day, revisiting some of the faves, I have come back to Costas for their pork, um, pork pitta, that's with Lucky Pitta. I 
I think this is the best one that I've had in all Athens. Parting is sweet such parting is such sweet sorrow, which I said in past and I got it wrong there as well. And I am sad to be leaving these behind with no more. So this is Costas number two. So there's a Costas up by the main shopping district and then there's this Costas which I believe is older and it's kind of just outside of the Placa district. They do again uh, souvlaki, souvlaki pita. They have the first one I've had here that's actually got yogurt in it. So the first ones that I had had a tomato sauce, then a plain yogurt is what I was more familiar with when I was in Corfu. Pita feels nice and crusty. Mm. Okay, that was super hot. I had to stop filming. I burnt my mouth. You can taste the pita a lot more in this. It's a little thicker, more doughy. The yogurt's really nice in there as well. It kind of mellows out the richness. A lot of the souvlakis tend to be quite high in salt. So the yogurt really helps. It's just a plain yogurt. There's also loads of fresh herbs through it as well compared to the normal ones that have like a little bit of herb in the onion which has a load of parsley chopped up added to it and it's really, really nice mm. another delicious bitter and I still think the original not this one the first postures that I went to probably still my favourite in Athens just so much more things going on with the chips and the tomato sauce I mean these are really really good and I would never grumble having one of these but if I had to pick a last pitta meal before I died it would probably be Costas 1 not this Costas but still like 8 out of 10 